going on guys? It's Mike from Sunny Slump Homestead. Today we are going to talk about chickens and their laying habits when it comes to winter season and how my chickens are like no other chickens. Stay tuned. So today we're going to be cleaning out the coop because it is past its time to be cleaned out. She's getting a little mucked up and we're going to put down some fresh wood chips in the coop today. We'll go over uh, why my chickens are so strange and I'm wondering if it has something to do with uh, the mineral I give them. What's going on guys? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you guys got this coop all mucked up we got to get this cleaned out we're going to take our little compost bucket with the screw top lids you haven't seen that video i'll link it up top real quick but right there there's all our scraps now we'll save some of that for ghosts but mainly we're going to dump it on the chicken so my chickens get lots and lots of scrap So our chickens, they eat a lot of table scraps. Now, we mostly give them things that we don't want to eat, obviously, because, you know, stale potato chips, pretzels, um, bread that's dried out, uh, any cookies, pastries that have dried out, a lot of um, uh, vegetables that have gone soft, and or a lot of preparation scraps from preparing vegetables and fruits and whatnot. So as for minerals, they get a lot of that. And trust me, they're some happy chickens. I would say the good news is the little chickens have finally come out of the coop. Finally have come out of the coop. We've been raising them. They've been holed up in this coop. They don't want to come out. And they finally have ventured outside with the rest of the flock. Good on them. Now talking about egg production... Here's how my chickens are a little bit different. We don't have too many problems with our chickens laying eggs. I mean, we get plenty of egg production during the winter time. There's two girls sitting in the box right now. And believe it or not, you guys are gonna think I'm crazy when I say this, but our egg production goes up in the winter time. No, what? I know, it's completely the opposite of what everybody does or everybody says or what happens to everybody else. But I swear on the Lord's, I swear to God, it it goes up in the wintertime, and I don't know why. And the only thing that I use different is I use a vitamin D supplement because they spend a lot of time in the coop, and they don't go outside and get sunlight. Now, it's just a vitamin D supplement. I don't think that it boosts egg production whatsoever because my chickens do stop laying in the July. In about the July time frame, end of July, late July, should I say, Egg production really drops down to non-existing. And I don't know if it's just my chicken cycle, but I'm not sure if it has something to do with the weather, the temperature, and or maybe, you know, the sunlight. I don't know. Maybe they're not getting a certain vitamin. It's weird. I don't know if any of you guys have that same problem. Definitely let me know in the comments. Contact me if your chickens lay more in the wintertime, unlike others who stop laying in the winter time because these girls they don't slow down so as i was saying we do give the chickens a vitamin d supplement and it kind of looks like mountain dew i covered this in one of my first chicken videos my first youtube video ever and uh it was about chicken and winter care i might post it up top if you guys are interested in it but i'll show you what it looks like it no doubt no doubt looks radioactive mountain dew and so what I'll do is I'll give this to my chickens about once a week and all it does is give them some omega fats and it also boosts up their vitamin D intake which they're not getting from the sun. Now, am I messing with the chicken's egg cycle when I give them that supplement during the winter time? I don't really think so. My chickens naturally lay more during the winter time than they do in the July months 
because July is when they just drop off and they stop playing whatsoever. I have a chicken pecking up my foot right now. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> and like I was saying, they lay less in July and more in the winter time. I don't know if that has to do with uh, the temperature, maybe what's going on, humidity. I have no idea. Their diets never change. We give them a little bit more food scraps in the winter time than we do in the summertime. But other than that, I think it's just their own natural cycle. They just slow down in July. Uh, this is the first treatment or the, this is the first time I'm giving them this supplement this year. It is almost, it, it'll be January here in a few days. So our egg production picked up without this supplement. So I can't really explain what's going on. Maybe you guys can. Maybe there's some people out there who uh, who have the same experience I'm having with chickens where they actually pick up during the winter time. Right now, let's check out and see if this roost will actually elevate like I want it to. And I have a bunch of chickens picking up my feet still. What are you guys doing down there? You guys quit, you guys quit pecking. You guys quit pecking up my feet. This is one of our new girls. Yeah. Oh, all right. I'll let you be. <laughs> all right. Let's let's see if this works. Oh, we ran into one little problem there. We made that run just a little too, a little too long, but we can get past it. I've got to try to get this thing latched up because I really didn't think about that all that much. All right, so what I want to do, we're going to go around this way and we're going to loop it up. And hope this thing doesn't bonk me in the head. I secured it up top here and it pivoted on the back corners here. And I have this whole floor to clean now with nothing in my way. It was a big pet peeve in my last coop about working around that chicken roost. Oh man, it, it drove me nuts, guys. I'm telling you, it drove me nuts. That's why I made it this way. And I could leave this up and they could roost on this. They fly up here and roost on this, but let's get to cleaning. Oh, did I mention it's snowing right now? I love the winter time. A little sweaty. Cleaning chicken coops is tough, especially if you're shoveling the stuff in your compost pile like I was. So, yeah, we took all our chicken caca and we put it in our compost pile. We'll get that nice rich soil. What we get for the springtime. So, I guess the only thing left to do is kick our roost back down. This chicken roost getting out of my way is a game changer. Making it so I could put it up above my head is really making my job a lot easier. That's for dang sure. Because before, 
man i'd be ducking and weaving underneath these things bumping my head hitting them up above so making it so i can hang it from the top and clean the coop out definitely game changer now back to our egg production as you can see we got about eight eggs today now we average between six and eight eggs a day i have 13 laying hens that are laying consistently so what got me thinking about the whole thing was the fact that I'm watching <laughs> we're watching cog hills vlog channel if you haven't subscribed go out there and check it out plus go over there and check him out if you haven't already because he's already so close to 100,000 subscribers if anybody deserves it it's that guy he makes some great content but well my sd card lost its format so i had to film this um ending to this video on a different day but nonetheless my chickens they lay like crazy i think we got 10 dozen eggs up in the fridge they they're producing about eight eggs a day on the average so take it for what it's worth guys you let me know what you think and how uh my chickens are reacting to this uh winter when people are saying that chickens don't lay that much in the winter which is very true but not with mine so i'd like to know what's going on i'll see you in the next episode i appreciate you guys watching i'll see you next time